Welcome back to Kelly's Rambling Reviews. I know it's been a while, I've been pretty busy. This is gonna be kind of a short one. I just wanted to talk about the Hydro Flask bottle, uh, water bottle, or whatever these are called, uh, vacuum insulated bottles. So I have been using this one that I found at the Goodwill for a while. It was from, a, I guess, an apartment building in Seattle must have given it away, and I found it at the Goodwill for like six bucks. And at the time, I thought these were expensive. I thought they were like 20 plus dollars. And so I bought one and I've been using it for a while, but uh, it's kind of big and bulky as you can see, but it is, I believe it is 24, 20, 26 fluid ounces. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that or not, but I'll hold it up there and we'll see. Probably not, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice size. I've, I've also uh, recently come into a smaller one here that's, uh, looks like it's, it's got the X on the bottom. It's, it's the same similar kind of brand. But this one is a uh, 17 ounces, made in China, hand wash. Uh, but anyways, I was at the store. Uh, it was actually TJ Maxx, and I saw this because green is my favorite color. And I like that it had a wider mouth, so it's a little easier to get bigger ice cubes into. And you could really gulp it fast if you wanted. So anyways, I saw this there, and as you can see from the price tag, it's $19.99 is what I paid for it. Uh, normally these run for, let's see, on the bottom it says MSRP 32 95 so I thought you know it's a good discount I wasn't gonna pay the full price for one of these and I thought for 20 bucks it might be worth it because I really love the color green even though I like it a little more neon-y than this this isn't bad so I got it home and me being the way I am I like to test things I don't like to just buy them and assume they're great if you look on Amazon the reviews for these things they're pretty high like 4.5 stars or maybe even five I'm not sure but a lot of people just love them and you'll find a couple diamond in the rough reviews where the people say the new model is not as good as the old model. And I have to agree. So this one was loaned to me for my testing purposes. This is an older model that was purchased, oh, somewhere between five and seven years ago. You can tell because it has the old style hard plastic lid, whereas this new one has this rubbery kind of like flexible lid that I've, I've some of the reviews said these buttons pop out and stuff and I haven't had that problem but this is a new style some of the other differences I can see is that the logo let me let me pull this sticker up because I I bought this new and I have not taken it off the logo here is thicker font and it's actually higher up on or I guess it's not higher up but it's thicker font on the water bottle um, and I'm not sure uh, if that means maybe this could be a knockoff or something, but it looks so legit. You know, the labeling on there just looks pretty good. It looks like it's a legit hydro flask. So I'm going to assume that it is a legit one and not a knockoff because I don't think TJ Maxx and those kind of stores sell Chinese knockoffs per se. So anyways, the bottom also, you can see it just says hydro flask. It doesn't say insulated or anything else that the pink one says. So uh, it, it actually even looks like the mouth on this one's a little bit less wide than this one, but the lids were compatible, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So let me cut to the chase. I know I'm rambling, and sometimes I go off topic. Uh, I believe, and this one has been dinged up a little bit. You can, you can actually hear it's got some rattling in. I don't know what that's all about, but it works great. So I took them home, and I did a test, and the test comprised of putting seven ice cubes in each of these three. I didn't bother using the black one for the test. I just wanted to show that, so I'm going to take that off so it doesn't confuse anybody. I put seven ice cubes in the three of these bottles and then I filled these guys up to the top and I filled this one up to about the same height because I didn't want to add more water because that would be an unfair test. So I did that and I left them overnight for, oh gosh, almost 24 hours, probably somewhere around 18 to 20 hours. And the next day I opened them all up and uh, instead of drinking them, I poured them on my hand because my hand, it, 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 it just was a good, it was a good sensitive, um, test for me and I could I got a second opinion as well and what I ended up finding is that the white one here was the best this one kept the water cold let me let me reiterate though that the ice cubes melted in all three but they melted at different levels the first night I did a test between just these two the ice cubes were still barely in the white one and they were melted in the green one but anyways when I did all three this was the coldest this was the second coldest and this was dead last this newer model hydro flask was dead last and let me, let me talk about it. I, I don't have a thermometer, so I couldn't gauge it, but I would say that these two were probably anywhere from 10 to 15 to maybe even 20 degrees colder. And the reason I know that is as I poured it on my hand, I would pour it and I would hold it there for a minute, and it was that kind of frigid cold that if I held it there too long, my hand, it would start to kind of be painful. You know, how if it's really cold, it's like, ah, and it starts to get to you. But with the green one, 
I just kept pouring and pouring and it, and it, it wasn't warm. It was cool, but these were cold, like frigid cold, like the ice had just finished melting. This was significantly warmer to the point where I could hold it on my hand and, and pour the whole water bottle out and I didn't have any discomfort. I was just like, yeah, it feels kind of cool to the touch. But these, halfway through, I was like, okay, that's kind of cold. I got to pull my hand out. That's just too cold. So I'm not sure whether these guys have figured out a way to cut corners and make the metal thinner or if they're, I mean, it doesn't say vacuum insulated anywhere on here, I don't think. So maybe they just changed it and they don't vacuum insulate it anymore. But I'm just here to tell you that for the cost of these, not the cost I paid, but for $32.99, they're a ripoff. I would not pay that for a bottle that performs less than one of these, and you've seen these everywhere. You could get these for like nine to 15 bucks on eBay, Amazon, there's so many brands out there. And yeah, I know some of them might be cheaper and not work as good, but you know, this one's a pretty, this one's a pretty solid one. I've, I've had good luck with this one, and it just blows this one away. Now, to explain the reviews on Amazon, it's possible some people are, the, the, the Amazon groups reviews together, so there could be an array of these bottles, and some of them with the hard lid, they might be reviews on that. But some of the people who talk about the new lid style, you'll see those, like I said, diamond in a rough reviews where they say it doesn't keep it as cold, it's not as good, and it's just not. It, it just got too warm too fast. And so I wanted to talk about the lid interchangeability because the next day I did a test where I swapped the lids because I wanted to see, was it a difference in the lids? If, if you look, one second here, these two lids, they have a slightly different rubber seal on it. You can see that this one has a wider ring rubber seal, and this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's, it's right here. It's just a little rubber O-ring. And I thought maybe they weren't sealing properly. Maybe that was the problem. So I, I swapped the lids. Oh, yeah, you can see it does say insulated and BPH free on there. I swapped the lids for the two. As you can see, it fits on there just fine. So I wanted to see if maybe it was the lid causing the problem, but the results came out the same. The green one was still dead last. The pink one was just slightly under the white one. I would say this was just a little bit, maybe two to three or four degrees colder than the pink one, but they were much more on par. Had the green one performed as well as the pink one, I would be keeping it. But as it stands right now, since I haven't taken the price tag off, it's going back. I love the color, but I'm not going to pay for a less performant water bottle. I don't want to not grab it half the time because I'm like, oh, if I put ice in there, it's going to melt. And this was inside at a normal 75 degree temperature. What's going to happen when I take this out on a 90 degree day? Are my ice cubes going to be melted in an hour or two? Because I'll just stick with a plastic water bottle then if that's going to be the case. So anyways, I'm pretty disappointed with this, um, these hydro flask bottles, at least the new ones. This one that was loaned to me for the purposes of testing, I'm more impressed with it. It would have been nice to, to have the same kind of performance uh, out of the green one that I got with the pink one, but that's just not the case. So, you know, if you're watching this and you're deciding what bottle to get, in my opinion, even though these are bigger uh, and, and for a certain extent they don't hold the amount of water they should for their size, they have more space, I think, between the vacuum ceiling. I don't know if I'll be able to show this, but you can see it's, you know, it's kind of, it, it, I, I can't tell if you can see it or not, but it, there's probably a good amount of space in there where I think with, with these hydro flasks, it's probably even less space. And I'm wondering if maybe that's, you know, what they did is they used a thinner metal or maybe the, the process has folded the metal closer and it's just causing it to not seal as good. So I'm pretty disappointed in this. I really like the color, but I'm, I'm just not going to pay more than I paid for this, technically three times the amount, for a water bottle that's just not going to keep my water cold. And I like my water frigid cold. That This just doesn't get the job done. So be careful of the reviews on Amazon. If you can find one with a plastic lid, you'll probably have a better experience. But this newer style, I, I just don't trust it. And, and like I say, maybe it's, see the logo, see how this one has more information here? That's older style. They're like, hey, we can save some ink. We saved five cents. Yeah, that's great. For the guy who gets the paycheck because he saved money, that's great. But for the customers who they hand this crap down to, you pay in the end for a less quality product the same price as you would have paid for those. I see these all over the place and I'm always like, man, those are expensive, they must be good. Nope, busted. This is a case in point where paying more does not get you more, you actually get less. So just buy one of these cheapy guys and you know, look for a quality one because there's, there's, there's knockoffs of these too, I'm sure. But look for a quality one of this. I don't know if this X square thing on the bottom is a brand or what that is, but I got it on both of these and both of these are pretty awesome. Um, and um, as a recommendation, the smaller one's not quite as useful simply because it, 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 you run out of water so fast. You know, if you, if you drink water throughout the day, get a 24 or 26 ounce if you can. You'll thank yourself. It is bigger and it doesn't fit nicely in my cup holder in my car. This does. So if you just want a little bit of water for a small road trip, like 30 minutes or so, that might be fine. But otherwise, this is the way to go if you're going to be sitting at your desk drinking all day while you work or something and you want your water to stay cold. 
These, they're, they're hit or miss. I, I just, I can't recommend them. I just, I, I don't like the performance. Now, let me say one other thing. There's going to be a lot of reviews on Amazon where they've upgraded from, I don't have a plastic one, but just a plastic water bottle to this. Yes, even the crappy version of this is still going to blow a plastic water bottle away because the plastic water bottle, with the exception of the polar bottles, doesn't have any insulation usually. So the ice is going to melt pretty quick. This is still going to do better than that. And don't get me wrong, after 24 or 20-ish hours, the water was still cool. It wasn't like room temperature. It wasn't warm. It was cool enough that I could have drank it. But these were significantly colder and much more quenching to the thirst. I just like a cold drink. And, and, and this just wasn't going to get the job done. But if you went from a plastic bottle to this, you might think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But if your friend brings over one of these, you're going to be like, wow, that's really cold. So you could take my reviews with a grain of salt. I just wanted to give my opinion on this. Sorry, it's a shorter review without as much details. I don't have a thermometer to, to measure it and gauge it. And, you know, if, if Hydroflask sees this and they want to fix this model and send me an update, I will test again. But as it is now, I'm not going to give them any more money for putting out a shot of your product. So that's the end of my rambling review today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.